guys, welcome to Better Bachelor. This is Joker with a face for radio and a voice for print. You ever notice that we're not allowed to have our own spaces anymore? There's no place a guy can go and just be left alone and do his own thing and just hang around other guys and have salty language and tell dirty, dirty jokes and just be ourselves. You know, for a long time it used to be uh, bars, but then women took those over and they became speakeasies and clubs. And then for a while we had pool halls and that left and then golf courses and that left and then uh, smoking lounges and cigar, you know, cigar shops and that left. Pretty soon we don't have any place we can have our own. Now recently there have been a couple of gyms that have been opened up that are men only and some women have opened up some women only gym and most men are okay with that. But now a barber shop that opened its doors and said, no, sorry, you have to leave ladies. This is a men's only space. Well, of course, a woman had to complain about it. So let's let's read through this a little bit here and talk about why, in the heck, we're not allowed to have nice things. Men Only Barbershop defends decision to kick women out. This is, a play, this is people getting offended because they can. Uh, Ponca City, Oklahoma. A woman said she tried to go to an Oklahoma barbershop with her husband but was asked to leave because she's female. The owner of King's Cuts in Ponca City, about 100 miles north of Oklahoma City, said... His barbershop has a strict no girlfriends or wives policy. Yet some Russian named woman said this is just chauvinism. She said her husband needed a haircut and a beard trim, so they went to King's Cuts. Before he could even sit in the chair, she was getting kicked out. No, she wasn't getting kicked out. She was being asked to leave. There's a difference. The man kind, the man kind of ignores my husband, directly approaches me and says, I'm sorry, but we have a strict no women policy. You can't be here, she told KFOR TV. That's right, because it's such a big deal, this woman had to be interviewed on the news. Oh, the horrendous, the humanity. Can you believe a woman was asked to, to leave someplace that's a male only space? What is the world coming to? Owner Daxton Nichols said he can see how some may misunderstand King Cut's no women rule. But, but said he thinks it's no different than the way other salons operate. In New York City, there's over 17 women's only clubs where women can go and do the salon thing, he said. They can go get their nails done, hairs done, their hair done, talk business amongst each other, and do that whole women's power hear me roar stuff. ABC owned stations reporting found no specific examples of women only hair salons in New York City besides uh, Ligia Malik a Brooklyn salon that caters to Muslim women. Apparently, they don't know how to use Google because I just went to Google and I typed, not Google, I'm sorry, DuckDuckGo. I went to DuckDuckGo, not Google, and typed in Women Only Salon. Salon for women. Women Only Beauty Salon, Hair Salon. Best 30 Women Only Hair Salon in Chicago, Illinois. Women Only Salon in Los Angeles. Women Only Salon opens door, so on and so forth. Women Only Salon, New York City. Crops for Girls, New York City's uh, salon for women only. Women Only Salon opens its door. Best hair salons in New York City, blah, blah, blah. Uh, prestige Hair Salon, uh, Female Only Salon, 20 Best New York Hair Salons. Okay, so, gee, I guess they don't know how to use Google. Oops, there goes your narrative on that one. Let's continue on. Uh, Nichols said those salons like his are considered private clubs. So men actually pay memberships to get their hair cut here, KFOR's reporter asked. Yeah, when they pay a $20 fee. Okay, so you're counting the fee for the haircut as a membership fee, the reporter said. Why not, he said. Scott Seagraves, the barber who asked uh, Skoronowski to leave, that's the woman, said his decision was not made because of discrimination but preserved the shop's man cave environment. We want guys to be able to come in here and be guys and not have to worry about what they say or what they talk about because there's a lady present, Seagrove said. Nichols maintained that people are getting offended by his shop rule because they can. But Skowronski said this is an unfair way to treat people. Okay, then close all the hair salons that are for women only. You can't have it both ways, man. You want your own one and only club to yourselves? We'll do the same thing, but then you can't turn around and say, hey, that's not fair. Your rules, you got to live by them. Tough crap. 
She says, it's not cute no matter how you describe it. She said, it's not cute. You can't treat people that way. Yes, we can. Why? Because you started it. You came into all the male spaces and you took, you said, we deserve a right to be in here. And then once you came in, the funny thing is many of them, and, and there are articles on this. You can do a web search on it. I didn't do it for this story. There are articles about women wanting to be included in something and they file lawsuits and all this other stuff and they get permission to join. And then after a while they start complaining that things aren't, well, this isn't set up for women and this doesn't work well for women, so on and so forth. And they want to take over and make it a women's space and then kick the men out of the space they used to have. You got to be joking me on this stuff. You know, we used to have cigar shops and pool halls and all this other cool stuff. And look, I'm fine with women coming into that. But if there's just a place where guys want to go be guys, let them have it. Otherwise, what you do is you keep pushing them out of society, you keep pushing them into a corner, you keep pushing them out of a way, and guess what? All of a sudden, news articles, everything keeps pushing men over into a corner, and then all of a sudden, everybody's upset when they're like, wait, I don't understand. Why are 130 million men upset about society? Don't act surprised. Here's another article of them complaining, and of course, it's men's fault. Women-only gyms are a world away from boys' clubs, such as Muirfield. Using women-only spaces to justify men-only spaces is deeply ironic. The only thing they have in common is that they both exist because of male privilege. That's right, guys. It's all our fault. Muirfield Golf Club has lost its right to host the prestigious Open Championship after taking the stunningly regressive step of voting against reversing its ban on female members. In fairness, Muirfield members seem to have some very real concerns. I think she's being sarcastic there. A letter circulated by those com uh, campaigning against the change revealed the, the prospect that lady members may pose a threat to such noble traditions as our foursomes play, our match system, our lunch arrangements. So what? That's their right. The news, and, and you know what? They gave up the right to, um, they gave up the, the right to host the Opens because of it and they feel that it's it's their right too and I'm, I'm fine for that the news has prompted intense debate about male only spaces whether or not they should be still be allowed with one major argument cropping up again and again and again why shouldn't men be allowed their own space when women have women only gym and swimming sessions isn't that sexist the thing is though that women have a lot of other spaces they have clubs they have business clubs um, some in major cities where it's women only networking to meet up with other women and discuss business. So deal with it, you know? And, and if a guy wants to play a round of golf with his buddies, then that's their right. Uh, they continue on. The answer is these two things are not the same. In fact, they couldn't be more different. I'm not going to read this whole article. I'll give you the gist of it. I'll put the link down below if you want to read it. Here's the gist of it. Women had to make women's only spaces because men were bad. That's really what she, she states that men are a bunch of uh, aggressive, dirty old guys, and so women have to have their own spaces. So in turn, men wanting to have their own spaces isn't fair because it doesn't give women the opportunity to hobnob and to uh, um, network for business and all this other stuff. Tough, it's a tough deal, you know? Men can't go into some of these salons and while you're getting your nails done, talk to you know female employees that are doing their thing. And uh, we can't sit down and get our nails done in some of these women-only shop and discuss business. So what happens when there are more women CEOs and women in more powerful positions? Are you going to unlock it so the men can come in and sit there and, and have all the opportunity to business? No. Sorry. That's just, it is what it is. So I'm not going to drag this one out too long, but the whole point is, you know, that, that guys still want space to, to have their own things, to do their own thing. They don't get it in the home anymore because once you're in a, usually a long-term relationship or a marriage, the women kind of take over the decorating of the home, okay? And during the winter time, now I had an electric motorcycle. It was a Zero SR, and I love that thing. But it doesn't operate well in extremely cold temperatures. So during the winter time, so the battery didn't freeze when it would sometimes, because I was living up north, it would sometimes get very, very cold. I actually would wait until late at night and I'd take my motorcycle off the stand, I'd buzz into my apartment, and I'd wheel it into the elevator, the cargo elevator, take it up to the seventh floor where my apartment was, I'd walk it down my apartment, unlock it, and wheel it in, and park it in my living room. I had a motorcycle in my living room for three months. Not one peep, 
No one complained. Dog didn't say anything. Dog didn't care. I didn't care. It was fine. As a matter of fact, I tinkered on it and worked and did some maintenance stuff while it was in my living room. Now, it was tile floor. It wasn't on carpet, so I didn't have to worry about that. But but the point is, can you imagine being married and say, hey, honey, I'm just going to put my motorcycle in the living room for a few months? It's not the same. So once, once the home is, is established, it usually ends up getting decorated the women's way. And what do men get? The man cave. We get the garage. We get the shed. We get a, a, a family room that's off away from everything else where we can get to decorate one room in the house that we usually end up paying for. So when guys want to get their spaces, we have no place left anymore to just hang out and be guys. You always have to watch your language. You always have to watch the jokes you're using. God forbid you say something to offend somebody. When guys just want to be guys, they need a space. Let them have it. If you want yours, do your thing. 99.999% of everything is public space. Give guys their place and quit complaining because all this started because of you. Guys, if you'd like to support my work, links are below. Thank you for all of you that have directly. And of course, the best way you can share is to like, comment, and share. The best way you can help is to like, comment, and share. And of course, go back and look at some of my older work, like the oldest things, like three months old, not very old. So go watch that and maybe watch commercial two or two if you want to throw a couple bucks. If you want to throw a couple bucks in my pocket. Guys, I'll leave it there. This is Better Bachelor. I am Joker. And just give us our own space for once without complaining. Thank you.